السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں اسمم زمرہ تاوت میں شرق ترکستان ارم شہر دا تغلب شہر دے چون ولدم السلام علیکم برادرز اینڈ سسٹر مائی نیم از زمرہ تاوت اینڈ آئی واز بورن ان ارم چی از ترکستان اینڈ آئی گرو اپ دیر میں یو دشم پاکستان لک بز نو اش پرزنٹ مز با بز از جل ارم چی دا آیت کے چرپ کی نوات کام My husband is a Pakistani, Pakistan citizen, and we have three kids. Uh, we lived most of our lives in Urumqi. Uh, Uh, I would like to talk about my city, what happened in my city. Starting 2016, the people were getting arrested and detained, uh, insane. Uh, most of the people that were arrested, uh, the reasons were given as praying uh, or learning about their religion. And those people were uh, present uh, from five years to even 25 to 30 years. Around 2014, brought new rules that you need to uh, swipe your ID in order to visit going inside the mosque and so that's what we f- did follow the rule however around 2016 uh, then they started to arrest those people who went to the mosque and they had proofs uh, Since we don't have enough time, I will just uh, talk about the uh, main bigger uh, topics and what happened to me. In 2018, the third day, I was also called by the Chinese police to the I was also called by the Chinese police to the local police office. سوالگان سوال الله بخش اگر لیکن بونم آرستم دی میاند سوالگان بر سوال نزد پیری سعی کردیم پاکستان لکه سعی دینیدن پنیدن مشو دینیدن درس بعد ما یا پاکستان باعند دینی نیوگن دب سعی مشت دینی درس آلدم ما یادشون آن دولتی باعند یا که مشو اسلام دینی قبول کردم ما دیگه دکه پسوزله So when I was arrested, I was asked so many questions. Uh, among them, some of them uh, was, uh, did you learn about uh, Islam, your religion, since your husband is Pakistani, Pakistan citizen, did he teach you uh, about, you know, your Islam, and did he teach you your religion? Uh, uh, امدی یه نبر سوال الگان سوالی سه چهچنچ پرزنت اونی مشهود دینی اسلام بویچه کب پرزنتی بودش سبب دیگه دک اشتاقش لا بویچه تو تو دنگ مو دیگه سوال نسوردی. So there was uh, two child policy for us Uyghurs there, but I had three kids. That was the other reason for me. I was constantly questioned about that too, and they said, "Is this because your religious beliefs that you had the third child?" شنوندن منی سخت خاندن سخت خانگا چاکرت کا وقت دا من سخت خاندن پس که مش یه راست اید سوراک دی شو یه راست اید کرگه وقت دا دوغلنگن قرآن مش هدیس کتاب بوسون قرآن کتاب اسلامی کتاب لانی باشیاگلکا هتا سلیا خالت لاغ چیگلیک بر دو و آش قرآن کتاب لانم اول دی کی بر کیچک سوراک خاند سوراک کلندم خطاي سخت لری او قرآن لانی پدر ولت تیپ اشتری تیپ ترپ آش یه لگه تاکش کالا گوشتون یوتیش که لقی تو سال قبل کالا گوشتون پدر رو ولش ترپ آن دین کن منی آشیا گسو رپ اپ کردی. So when I was taken first, I was taken to the room uh, underground room, and when I was going there, I saw, I witnessed that there were so many Quran, religious books, and praying uh, rugs, and even scarves. They were in one corner that just collected. most likely from Uyghurs. Uh, and they were so disrespectful, they were kicking it, they were like putting in the corner, and I saw that. 
saxçılar hətta ki, ər ayal mavu deyib ayırıb otamay, heç qanda tosağı yox aşı, sonra qanın içindəki kiçik bir ob ələqi, tərət qaçısı qılam, qacat qısan buldu deyib, aşda deyib, aşda, aşda qıldı ki, ola. During the interrogation, everything was being watched, there were cameras and Even if you need to go to a bathroom, you were supposed to do it in front of those police. Everything is being watched, and uh, no matter what, if you're a woman or man, they were male police. Tutam ko chikda ki shkanda kunaim yok shunda xtmo mene uye sakh shkandan elip mene doktor khan gapadi ptun azaim nete shurti khan aldi kuzlong nurni hatta un barmagam nang izni. Közlün nurunu DNA'da bir kolumuzdan kan elip tekşürtti, aşında kılıp ona deyin ki beni uygun iş meydanı deydi hem de Hıhtay'la değişik bir cep şu ceza lagırağı ip getirdi, ip getirdi. So first before they take me to the real camp room, I was taken to hospital like rooms and everything full biological like uh, x-rays were done my blood samples were taken my fingerprints were taken even my uh, the eye the iris scans were taken and then uh, they took me to the, the, the 60 room 62 gün şu ceza nurgun işlağı şahit buldum meslen uyadı o yet yaşta 75 yaş kıçı ayalla şu kamakhanda men bil tan yetilgan Uh, I spent 62 days in those uh, concentration camp. Uh, there were ladies in my cell and from age of 17 to 75. Uh, During these 62 days, uh, I had to uh, take unknown medicines every day. I had to give blood samples every 15 days, and every month we were also getting scanned uh, and give. Um, stir, uh, uh, Mənim qınası solanqallıqım nə dəb özünün ki, yəni Beyjindəki Pakistan konsuluğa izcil türdü beyirib mənim izdək soruqamda qıbdı ki. After 62 days, I was innocent. After 62 days, I was released. I didn't know what was going on, but then I learned it was my husband who were advocating, trying to release me and contacted the embassy in Beijing and trying to get me out of those camps. Mən və bu yenimdəki lağır şahitlərinin həmisinin dışı çətəlik boğalıq üçün biz qutulub çıxıldıq. Ləkin, ula yenilə hazır cəza lağırlarda. My friends here and I were the lucky ones. We were able to escape because our husbands were not, you know, Chinese. They were foreign citizens. However, all those ladies in our cell, they're still in those camps. Əlbəttə, cəza lağırının şəraitini dəb otağıl bulmaydı, soğaq, hətta yepindəqən nəsimizmi yox. 62-ki yetiş cəriyanda mən 6 ay qıcılik mən hətta kiçik tərə tutamaydıqan bu qağın. It was super very cold in those camps when I only stayed 62 days, but once I released up to 6 months, I was not... I was not healthy. Uh, I was still having hard time adjusting, even going to the bathroom. Şundak buluşa karıma yine hükümetten buyruk düştü. Muşu işkin tokpogan ayallarını çokum tokmas operasyası kılıp boğduruydumuz. Diğen hükümetten siyasete düşüp beni mecburi halda şu halimga karıma beni tokmas operasyası kıldırdı. After I release, I was also called again and said that there is a new policy, new rules because I, you know, have more than two kids. I had to be sterilized and uh, I had to go and uh, complete the sterilization procedures. Mana bu minang mishadi ki Amerika ki doktor xaladan agan tumaslik ayet ispatim. This is my uh, doctor's uh, letter that shows that I was sterilized in China. This is the evidence. 
Şuna olan biz uyarda turamadık. Biz hem de yaş arayal. Ben yine 36 yaşımda tohumas operasyonu kırıldım. Benim tohut yaşım değil bu. Uh, I was still productive, but I was sterilized when I was 36. My husband and I, we really love kids. We wanted to have more kids too. My husband was begging and imploring the Chinese police and those doctors not to sterilize me and uh, said, please, you know, let, let us just stay without a sterilization. However, they didn't allow us. They threatened us. Uh, like not giving my passport, uh, so I was very scared to protect my kids. I had to uh, agree with them. Passportlarımız hükümetti. Biz ne çıkattım lab, ne cimmen yelge tam urdurup pek çok yol ne mangap şurup passport ne elip men Pakistan'a kitayle buldu. Nim köysek aş Pakistan'da yaşayıldı. Dep yol dışımga bu pikeni verdim. Yol dışım nomu uyardı. Turgus kemedi buldu. Ballarım ne kitay. Dep şunola Pakistan'a bardağanga biz iltimas sunduk. Bu back test petitionla biz Pakistan geldik. It was very hard um, to get our passport. Uh, we went through a lot of uh, financial and other procedures in there uh, because I what I went through I didn't want to stay in my uh, hometown. I felt like I'm not safe. Uh, so we came to Pakistan. Pakistan'a bir aylıkla ruhsat verdi. Hatta ki ballarımdan benim pasport numarım bardağın ayrı plan, kilidgan ayrı plan. Neticede kançıda uçup kançıda yine ürümçüge kayıtıp kilişimizden tartıp battı. O kaygaz hazır bağımında. Um, so they had all our information when we are living to Pakistan, where are we staying, uh, when are we returning, so we had to buy return tickets to uh, all the details and they kept all those information and allow me to go for one month only. Pakistan'a geldim, bu telefon toktu mu diye. Kemmemse, bombamse diyendik. Bir aydın aşkan dinkin bana iz çıl turdu, telefon kegel turdu. Bir insan toy kılıp, özünün yerinin, yol dışının uydu turanmam da bir ayal kişi. Şundakta mı Hıhtay hükümeti beni kemmesen bombaydı o dep, bana tehdit saldı telefonda. Uh, even when I was in Pakistan, after uh, one month, uh, I kept getting threatening phone calls. I just wanted to stay in my husband's house, can't I? I was constantly called and called back to China. Ana diye ki mesela mağdur ağaçta da birden bir kaç yolum şu Amerikken, özemle bir kader aşağıda oylab, ballarım hem hemimizden kolda şu Amerika viz bağlı olsun, biz Amerika'ya işte ben on dokuz dörtüncü ana birinci günü si Amerika'ya gidip geldik. Luckily, before 2016, when I applied for a visa for US, I got 10 years visa. Once I got my passport back uh, from the Chinese government, I thought that's the only way out for me to be safe, and I came to US with my kids and husband. America, kayıt kaygandın ki bu bir erkin dünyanın işkelgini, bu xtayının işkandak mana besim kalamaydı galakini. Halkım üçün sözlesem özem ki işkandak bir dahl xtayının işkim kalamaydı galakini bilip ben halkımdan avaz buldum. Bütün Medialaga vetenimizde bulut kaçlarını anlatıp geldim. Since I came to US, I learned what freedom is. That China can't do all those things to me here in the US on the US soil, and I started to be the voice for my voiceless people back home. İşte ben on dokuz dokuzuncu ayının ahırları ben Birleşken Devletler Teşkilatı da muşu Uygurlarının bulut kan kırgınlıklarını anlatış için şu yerde guala. Ben mecbur kitabat kanımda ailemden izcil durdu mang telefon kilip kabat kaşığını tohtat dadam hazır sakçanda dep akamdan telefonunu tapşırıp aldım. 
In 2019, I, I went to New York to give a testimony at the UN event. While I was going there, I received a phone call, and uh, my brother said that I had to, I have to stop. I shouldn't keep going, otherwise, my dad is in the hand of Chinese police. Uh, but that couldn't stop me. I still went to UN event and spoke and told told the world about the Uyghur genocide. Şu bir on gün içinde, on on beş gün içinde, mana dadamdan tükep getkeli haberini yani bir Hıhtay hoşlamdı. Beni ünlü dardın. Hem şu cümlede çatalga çıkıp getirdim. Uyghurla, kul tutkalarım, uruk tutkalarım hemisi. Fakat ve fakat telefonumda kapkağın bir Hıhtay hoşlamdı. Dadamdan tükep getirdim. Haberini aldım. After around 10 days, um, unfortunately none of my relatives keep in touch with me. However, my Chinese neighbor called me and said my dad died in the hands of Chinese police. Hıhtay inek kalıp dadamdan ben sebep tükep getirdim. Ama okuturdu. The Chinese police uh, clearly said that because of my action, my father uh, passed away. Men mashaq mangda waqtimda tutup kitilgan, haramga berish sabablik, namaz uydash sabablik, hatta masjidning imomlarining rasmlaridan tatib ilib keldim. Menda ashu rasm ispatlaba, qaysi kim kimning turmiga kirib ketgan, kim kimning o'lib ketgan. Before I came uh, I left China, I tried to gather information, I knew the names of the people, detainees in concentration camps, even imams, people who went to Hajj and detained for that, people who prayed and detained for that. I have those, some of those information, I brought it with me. Xtay hükümeti hatta ki xtay Uyghur kızlarına xtayı toy kıgandın ki in uruk tukkallarını türme lagırladın koyup edin. Some of the uh, Parents of the Uyghur girls who accept to marry the Chinese, uh, their parents were released, unfortunately. Nurgun kızla atanısını, uruk tukkalarını, kıyrındaşlarını türmede kutuldurmuş. Maksıda da özünü hudu ot kutaşlağandı, kıhtay erdereki toy kıldı. And those girls had no choice. They had to marry to uh, save their parents and they had to marry with Han Chinese. Xitoy hukumati har birimizning oilasiga xitoylarni atalmish qo'shmoq tuqqan siyosati deb har birimizga birdan xitoyni uylarimizni qunidiganga o'rlashtirdi. Another Chinese policy, the homestay policy is the brothers sisters uh, program that they bring a Chinese person to our house and this was mine. Mayli dinimizda bo'lsin, mayli qandal bir insoniyatda bir yat erkişilen yat and bu xtay buluş siyasetli de artık billi yetiş, billi sayahat kılış, billi tamaklanış digen de kişilabat dedi. Yani bir aynı içinde 15 gün o xtayla bilen billi durmuş geçir ettik. With the homestay policy that we had to share our food, share our day, our trips, even our bed with the Chinese country, unfortunately. And this is very inhumane and it's not even fit to any religion beliefs. Bu minin on bir yaşlı kızım, yeni dikisi Hıhtay hükümeti aşına kıt atalmış tukkan kılıp kıtbeyken. Hem de sile öyle pekin la bu bu musulman emez kandalı dinde bir küçük kız varlığı birisi böyle bir yatkılık kim onaydı? This is my 11 years old daughter, and that is her brother, Chinese brother, that the government decided. Can you imagine uh, this? Your bro your daughter, who is at the age of 11, has to spend time with an unknown Han Chinese man like this. Kündülük paliyatli, kündülük aşu kıvatka işlerini ola resim tatip hükümet ki yollumuz bu maydi uhtayla. Those Chinese uh, people came and stayed with us, had to take pictures of their, you know, activities, daily report what we've been doing. Uyghurların kabristallığını bozup, ya bizge kerek, bu ya bizdenki yerimiz, zeminimiz, bugün neden bu musun, işidik edemden ekitinler bu musa biz topuğu kömgen mesleğen, ölüp getkendikin ki, Meyli kırk gün bozsun, yani beş gün bozsun, kandalı bozsun, bulanı hemisi töpüge çıkıp kaldı bu yer bizge gerek deyip kabirlerimizde buzu vetti. 
Another thing that I can't accept is uh, the government all of a sudden told us that they need the land of my mother's graveyard. So they told all the Uyghurs to remove the corpse, remove the dead bodies from those lands. And I had to dig and get my mother's body out. And around five to 40 days, we had to uh, keep them. Bana bu minen uh, kolatkan urtukallarım. Oh, my my relatives, my relatives had to dig out my mom's dead body. Hatta kabirden çıkarga ülüklerini mu hatırcam yeni bir yerde kümünla dep orun bemey. Kümüş ki bu maydu emiyat aparat ba. Üyenler ektip durunla biz orun bekende kaça yerlik bekende andikin kümüslerde dep biz ge bütün hemimiz ailemizde özümüzde oruktu kallarına cesetlerine sakıldı. Can you imagine that once we had the, those dead bodies, uh, they didn't give us uh, instruction where to bury. They said they don't have a place yet that we have to wait. And we had to keep those in our houses. Hatta kabirden bütün çıkan cesetlerimi ula sundurup yeni maşında galet geldi. Some newer bodies, they had to break the bones to make it smaller so they can fit the new uh, land. Üyümüzde bir aydın artık vakit saklanan dinkin bulabızga kırıkta kırık santılık manandı kabrige ustahlarını kuyup kuyuş ne dedi. Ana dinkin bizge vakit amuşu muşu orunda bedi mana. This is the place they gave us at the end. It's like a kırık ne mi dedim? Santimeter. Kırık kırık. Forty by forty centimeter. This small space that we have to bury those bodies here. Moşun ko pasım mı patladı, patmasın patladı, moşun çiçek yani bedi oktep. Bomuz ahlak kitası ve tutkallar. This is how small the the new place they gave us that we had to fit the body in those. Tep kese kapçe, xta hükümetin ham biz gelsin atkan zulümlerini biz manç kiç kündüzde mi alt bulamayız. Bu pakat pakat ve biz uçurkan zulümden yüzden bir percent memez. Uh, if I talk about everything, the scale of this oppression is unacceptable, unbelievable, and I think I'm just talking about one percent of what is really going on. İltimas dünyadaki Müslümanlar biz labilen bir dindaş, kâpımız bir, dinimiz bir, Allahımız bir. Biz ne başka dindikiler kollamadı duyu, biz de özümüzün Müslümanları be kollamadı du. Biz Allah'ın aldığı bildi bardak Allah, lakin biz ge yerdem kalanla, biz üçün dua kalanla, biz üçün xtay hükümeti ge karşı çıkanla, Allah'ın aldığı pek bir Allah, hem Allah rahmet. My our demand is uh, please, especially Muslim brothers and sisters. We have the same God, same belief, same. We believe in uh, same Jannat afterwards. Um, so I ask you to pray for us. I ask you to stay on our side. I ask you to stay on the truth and raise awareness and help us even other religious from other people from other religious are helping because this is humanity issue uh, i expect my brothers sisters to help even more thank you thank you